Okay, hi. In the previous session, we learned on how to create the um, purchase order um, for the fixed asset. So now, while creating the purchase order, how can you create the fixed asset? So we'll, we'll see that one, how to do that. I'm going to show you that. So now you will be familiar with these transactions. So I didn't go to all this. So click enter. Okay. Now I'm going to enter A, the fixed asset chair, and the quantity 1 each, delivery date is 10, and net price is 2400, so plant is 2800, material group is purchasing is my material group is purchasing I always use this so to avoid any uh, errors um, I just follow the simple steps so you can see the purchasing purchasing SEM yeah SEM 520 so this is a press enter so now from here Initially, we selected the asset what we have created. So how you can create directly from the purchase order the fixed asset. So I'm going to show you that and let's say I'm going to create one asset for chairs. So click on here is when you want to create directly from the purchase order. So there is an option here. So you should use this option to create asset so let's say if you don't have an asset or um, you you are the one doing all this process so usually the entities they follow the purchase order will be created by the procurement team asset will be created by the finance team so let's say if it is a small organization which have um, doing this uh, multitasking by different people so this is a simple way of directly creating asset from the purchase order so click on create so now the system will show this pop-up screen so you enter the asset class and then company to a zero zero and you can give the reference number so the reference number of the asset is let's say I'd like to give is three zero one three so here is my description is going to change as four because I am already having three so the cost center is uh, I'm going to choose from here the different cost center warehouse is my cost center last time what we choose is the warehouse so 4130 is my cost center so now you see in this you have an option two assets to be created to the existing asset so if you choose this then the existing asset you maintain then this will be automatically copied over here so now click on OK and you see the difference between the previous one you enter actually the you enter actually the asset here in our previous session but what is happening now the system will generate for you the new asset number when you click on save so this is how it works so now let's say click on save so now let's see what is the number it was generated so we don't know the number if you go to the purchase order this purchase order so other purchase order click OK enter now you can see the asset created is 3014 so the new asset is created so which will be shown here fixed asset chair so you can see so this is the asset it is created while creating the purchase order so you don't need to uh, create asset first and then go back to the purchase order so you can also directly create 
from the purchase order while creating the purchase order. So this is how we created the purchase order. So if you want to see the purchase order print preview, the system will show these details here. Okay. So this is where uh, you can click on the print, and then the print preview show as a previous query I have shown you. So yeah, this is how you can create an um, asset uh, from the purchase order directly. So without creating asset first and then purchase order. So this is a simple process what I gone through here. So hope this uh, helps to learn more. So that in the next session, you are going to learn on how to um, do the goods receipt. So actually, um, once you do the purchase order, yeah, you are going to uh, receive the goods first and then the invoice, uh, maybe the later. Yeah. Thank you, guys.